Once in the history of aviation, there was a remarkable aircraft called the F-A-18 Hornet. However, the Navy desired an even more powerful and versatile fighter to complement the mighty F-14 Tomcat. They turned to a redesigned version of the Hornet known as the Super Hornet. This new aircraft had its origins in the Northrop prototype P-530, featuring a larger wing, a longer fuselage, and more powerful engines. The Super Hornet's journey was not without obstacles. The cancellation of the A-12 Avenger II paved the way for the Super Hornet to be considered as an alternative replacement for the A-6 Intruder. Despite facing controversy, the Super Hornet proved its worth with cost savings and improved capabilities compared to the F-14. In the 1990s, the Super Hornet took flight, becoming the answer to the Navy's need for a modern replacement for aging aircraft. It shared design concepts with the original Hornet, but boasted a larger airframe. Alongside the Hornet, the Super Hornet faithfully served in the Navy's carrier fleet, awaiting the arrival of the F-35 Sea Lightning II to take its place. But how does the legacy Hornet compare to Super Hornet? Join us as we examine the comparison between these two versatile multi-role aircraft. The Super Hornet, compared to the Hornet, offers a range of notable improvements. It features a redesigned airframe that is 25% larger than its predecessor. It also incorporates enlarged rectangular air intakes. Upgraded General Electric F414 engines controlled by FADEC that deliver increased power. And an enhanced avionics suite for improved performance. It also significantly increased fuel capacity both internally and externally. Specifically, it boasts an internal fuel capacity that surpasses its predecessor by 33%. This, coupled with its expanded wing surfaces, yields a remarkable 50% augmentation in range compared to the smaller original Hornet. Moreover, the Super Hornet is equipped with two extra weapons stations numerous advancements measures to reduce its radar cross-section. Despite being extensively larger and approximately 7,000 pounds heavier than its predecessor, the F-A-18 Hornet. The Super Hornet manages to deliver superior performance with fewer parts and lower maintenance requirements. In addition to its larger size, the Super Hornet stands out with distinct design features like the enlarged leading edge extension, or LEX, distinctive sawtooth outer wing, and larger rectangular intakes. Not only do these design elements give the aircraft an impressive look, but they also contribute to its enhanced capabilities. The Super Hornet possesses the capability to boldly push beyond the mill detent, unlocking the full power of its afterburner. Its meticulously designed FADEX system seamlessly translates commands into an instant surge of propulsive force. With its enlarged intakes, the Super Hornet gracefully captures significant amounts of air, precisely directing it into the powerful compressors. This seamless integration of power and intake capacity enables the Super Hornet to embark on a truly awe-inspiring takeoff. Compared to the Hornet, the Super Hornet achieves takeoff in approximately 1,000 feet less distance and at a speed nearly 20 knots slower. On the aircraft carrier, the takeoff procedures remain largely similar to the legacy Hornet, except now the catapult launch is performed with full flaps and without the option of engaging afterburner mid-cat stroke. While certain weights and configurations still permit the use of afterburner shots, some procedures have undergone slight modifications. The catapult stroke delivers the same awe-inspiring sensation as before, and the Super Hornet effortlessly leaps off the flight deck 
surpassing the performance of the old legacy. When it comes to landing, the Super Hornet and the Hornet have subtle differences. The Super Hornet's auto throttle system considers stick movement rate, while the Hornet focuses on distance. The Super Hornet lands approximately 10 knots slower due to its larger leks and wings, and it can aerobrake by keeping the nose elevated after touchdown. Both aircraft have strong brakes for quick stopping. On aircraft carriers, the Super Hornet surpasses the Hornet in landing. It has a slower approach speed, larger wings, and more powerful engines, enabling smoother glide slope corrections. The Super Hornet also features a power carrot symbol in the HUD for precise alignment. While the boat landing experience is less abrupt than the Hornet, it is not entirely smooth. Engaging full afterburner upon touchdown is prohibited in the Super Hornet. A notable improvement in the Super Hornet is its increased bring-back capability. With a robust design and larger fuel tanks, the pilot can land with more unreleased weapons. In contrast, a heavily loaded Hornet may have limited fuel for landing attempts. The Super Hornet's greater fuel capacity allows for extensive loadouts and additional landing attempts during recovery. The Hornet exhibits a combat range of 1,252 miles when equipped with minimal external stores, specifically two AIM-9 missiles. When utilized for ferry missions, the Hornet can cover a distance of up to 1,546 nautical miles, or approximately 1,778 miles, utilizing two AIM-9 missiles and three 330-gallon tanks. In contrast, the Super Hornet boasts improved range capabilities. It offers a combat range of 1,458 miles, surpassing the Hornet's performance. When utilized for ferry missions, the Super Hornet can cover an even more substantial distance of 1,898 miles. This extended range is achievable with two AIM-9 missiles and the retention of three 480-gallon tanks. The Hornet's avionics system features the Hughes APG-73 radar, which serves as its primary radar system. This radar provides situational awareness by detecting and tracking targets, aiding in navigation and weapon delivery. The aircraft also incorporates the ALR-67 radar warning receiver, which detects and identifies radar signals from potential threats, alerting the pilot to take defensive measures. Additionally, the Hornet is equipped with the rover antenna, enabling real-time transmission of video and sensor data for enhanced situational awareness. When it comes to the Super Hornet, L3 Harris has spearheaded the development and implementation of cutting-edge technologies that enhance the aircraft's communication, electronic warfare, situational awareness, and payload transfer capabilities. These state-of-the-art technologies encompass advanced processors, fiber optics, conformal wideband antennas, and networking systems. The Super Hornet leverages the innovative smart carriage and release technology by L3 Harris, guaranteeing the secure and efficient transportation and delivery of mission payloads. Furthermore, the aircraft incorporates sophisticated electronic warfare systems like the ALQ-214 Integrated Defensive Electronic Countermeasures System, which provides formidable self-protection against ever-evolving electronic threats. Additionally, the EA-18G Growler, an electronic warfare variant of the Super Hornet, utilizes the ALQ-99, the Navy's principal standoff jammer. This system provides powerful electronic attack capabilities and complete spectrum dominance, supporting joint operations across multiple domains. Which one do you think is superior? 
Leave your comment below and see you in the next episode.